Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on WordPress website development. So in this particular series, we have started with buying a domain name. And after buying the domain name, we have created a video on buying hosting. So once you're done with that, the third step is configure that hosting. So either you can buy a hosting a hosting or build rocket or you can buy side ground. So these hosting services provide similar access to services. So they have something called cPanel. So I am already logged in. So what I will do, I can just, uh, you know, click on websites and we'll click on new website. So if you have the domain already in place, you can just uh, go and click on this particular existing domain type of domain here. So I have something called mission .com. for just uh, your information. I will just paste here mission .com. I will show you what exactly it is as a form. So it is something like this. I just refresh. It has something already. It is pointing to some something else, right? So what I will do, I will start a new website on top of missionnetl.com. So I will click on continue. And I will start a new website, right? I will click on WordPress. So ultimately, if you choose Hostinger, you need to find some somewhere where you can install WordPress. The only goal is that you connect your domain to hosting by you know adding the domain name and then install WordPress. So suppose I give the ID as info at missionatel.com and I will give one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight as password. I hope it will take. You know, so I will just call this mission at the rate one, two, three, four. Not will take perfect, and I will click on finish. So it will start the installation of WordPress and it will install the WordPress over my particular domain. So, domain is on GoDaddy, hosting is on SiteGround. So, we have connected both of them. So, I believe this is not just the part where you do connection, you also go to GoDaddy. So, you can see GoDaddy change of name server. So the steps are very simple. I will just show you in this uh, guidelines. So you search your particular domain and then you click on DNS and then you click on name servers. And in the name server, there are two options. GoDaddy name servers, that is by default. And then the second one is I will use my own name servers. And you click on that. And then just copy and paste the name servers that SiteGround will give. So once this particular installation will complete, SiteGround will give you two name servers. You need to copy and paste those name servers over GoDaddy. So actually we have done already that part. We had like already connected the particular website to SiteGround. We deleted it out. And that's why it is pointing to this particular old website. So now it is under construction, right? Because the new installation is started. So we'll wait for the installation. And meanwhile, uh, like uh, you can go through this document. I will add this document in the description of the video. And here you will learn how to connect a name server with GoDaddy. In case you have bought from somewhere other places. So you need to search connecting whatever no domain server is like a domain provider can be GoDaddy or it can be Hostinger, Big Rock, some, something else with your hosting name. So you can buy domain from somewhere and hosting from somewhere you are all set right now if you see log into admin let's log into admin and click on site tools also and the site tools you see name server ns1 ns2 fine so these are the the servers where you have to point your GoDaddy and uh, to access your particular website so if I just refresh this one I can see this mind-blowing blog so this is the link that you need to enter your website name slash WP admin and click enter and 
and as of as of now it's giving some side ground wizard will vis exit this wizard and we are logged in in case i try the same thing over you know uh, this particular tab called incognito there i can see the option of username and password so i believe this video was helpful in connection of the hosting and the domain once you are done with this particular hosting connection the next part is the creation of a very simple website so we will discuss those part in the next video thank you very much